hello friends welcome again and this is my new project pharmacy shop management system and i have developed this project in php and mysql the version for the php i am using is php version 7 and mysql version is 5.6 also i am using the jam server for running this project if you have jam server or other php and mysql based web server then you can configure and run this project easily right so this is a web based project so for front end development i have used html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have used like for form validations creating drop down menus integration of the date calendar we have used the html css and javascript and some of the jquery library so these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project pharmacy shop management system so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what we have developed inside this project so this is a php and mysql web-based mini dbms project mini because it has only admin login there is no customer login available in this period because we have developed this project for the shopkeepers who has a shop and he and they want to sell their medicine offline right so this project we have developed for satisfying do their requirements right so let's start with the functionality go through so this is the home page of the plate you can see this is a static home page there is nothing dynamic on it this is about us page and it's also static about us page there is nothing dynamic on this page right if you want to change the content just open the about.php and you can change the content there this is a login from where you will be able to log in and perform short end operations means admin will be able to log in this is a contact us page and this is also a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending a type of email and sms from this page so i am going to log in so once you log inside the system then you will get this dashboard right here you can perform certain operations means you can add the medicine you can add the cells you can see medicine report cells report and change password right so let me go through all of the menu option one by one so home i already explained to you or about us i already explained to you this is a dashboard from this you can jump on the page either clicking on this menu option or here right so here in add medicine from here you will be able to see or you you will be able to add any number of medicine right and all of the medicine will be saved inside the database this if you want to see the medicine report just click on the medicine reports you will be able to see all of the medicines right if you want to search any medicines just click on uh, uh, click the, enter the name and hit enter that medicine will be available right and you can edit and update the records from there right so this is add medicine this is a medicine report this add cells from here you will be able to see the medicine this is a cell dashboard and it's a very advanced so you can see enter the customer name so amit and customer mobile number once you click on the continue billing you will get this dashboard from here you need to select the medicine so here you can see you can add medicine here right you are adding the medicines according to the and after that if you want to update the counts then you can update the counts everything is automatic you can see that cost is cost is getting calculated automatically right if you want to delete any record just hit on the minus and that record will be deleted in the card right after performing all of the operations means after adding all of the medicine to the card just click on the save and print once you click on the save and print then those all records will be saved into database and you will be able to access in the cells history means cells report page right you can see this is the uh, printable format once you click on the print then a print dialog will be open and you will be able to print this page from the printer this is a report and cells report once you click on the cells report you can see the last medicine is for the meat. once you click on the view details you will be able to see the details of that order right this is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password and after updating your account password you will be able to log in inside the system with your updated password and the logout once you click on the logout then this all administrative options will not be displayed because this is a session driven and it renders according to the session right so let me show you i log out then no administrative option is coming if i log in administrative option is coming if i log out then nothing is coming 
So this all functionalities I have developed inside this project pharmacy shop management system and as I told you earlier this is a PHP and MySQL web based mini DBMS project. So if you need extra functionality in this project, if you need any enhancement in this project, just put it into the comments. I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more better and better according to requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you very much.